This terrifying zombie deer disease could spread to humans, and it could become deadly. Hey everybody, welcome to Inform Overload. If you're wondering who the hell I am, my name's Kelly Pally, and I'm stepping in for Charlotte and Johnny today because it's a it's a bit of a snowpocalypse out here in Toronto. But fear not, friends, they'll be back super soon. In the meantime, though, let's talk about this horrifying disease that could prove to be fatal: the zombie deer disease, which is technically known as CWD, chronic wasting disease, is a disease that's been known to detrimentally affect certain wildlife, commonly deer, with some serious cases resulting in fatalities. In deer, elk and moose, CWD has been known to attack their brains, affecting their spinal cords and other sensitive tissues, which causes rapid weight loss in the animals. Now from there, as the illness worsens, the animal begins to lose coordination, and generally becomes more aggressive in behavior. So they're not actually becoming zombified, but the transformation is startlingly similar. Don't know about you guys, but the thought of running into a healthy moose is scary enough. Those things are massive. A zombified one? Uh, no thank you. <laughs> CWD has some deep roots. It was first reported to be affecting deer in the states of Colorado and Wyoming approximately 40 years ago, so it's nothing new. The concerning thing, though, is the spread of the disease, which is pretty scary. CWD is reported to have spread to animals in 24 US states and two provinces in Canada, and there's a fear that the disease could potentially spread to humans if not controlled. The spread includes states in the Midwest, Southwest, and various limited areas on the East Coast. Now, the US Center for Disease Control and Prevention raised an alarm at the start of this year when it was discovered that CWD. CWD had spread to at least two additional states in 2018. So, what could it do to humans? Well, some officials fear that it could become a new epidemic similar to mad cow disease, known as BSE. In case you don't remember the major fear and uproar that that caused, mad cow was a fatal brain disorder that occurred in cattle that was caused by an unknown agent, causing the cow's brain cells to die in a process that would create sponge like holes in their brain. Yeah, not fun. The cow would act erratically before passing away. It was a disease that spread to humans who ate beef from cows who were contaminated. And in the UK, the outbreak was contained by a brutal eradication program that killed off about 4.4 million cows. Needless to say, if the same thing were to occur with CWD, it may not have a similar fallout, but could be just as jarringly deadly. But fear not, friends. Based on studies that experts have carried out on deceased deer who carried the disease, there's no evidence yet to prove that humans can contract it if they consume the meat of an infected animal. Whew. But on the flip side of that, a recent study has shown that certain monkeys are vulnerable to CWD if they consume meat of of infected animals who had the disease. According to Patrick Bosk, an assistant professor at the University of Colorado School of Medicine, who recently published a study concerning CWD and the transmission to humans, has stated, I quote, it would be obvious by now if humans were highly susceptible to CWD. He also noted that for over two decades, deer and elk in the northeastern Colorado region have been infected, and no sign of a human version of the disease or outbreak has ever been reported. He goes on to say in his report that the relative risk involved appears to be extremely small, noting that mad cow disease, which which is in the same family as CWD, had a chance of killing 1 in 2 million people, while illnesses like E. coli are far more deadly, with the chances of dying from that being 1 in 50,000. So what do you guys all think? Is the zombie deer disease something we should be afraid of? Or are there bigger sicknesses to worry about? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know your thoughts. And hey, while you're at it, spread the love and hit that like button. Show Charlotte and Johnny just how much you guys miss them. And if you're curious, feel free to come visit Johnny and I on our sister channel Top 10 Nerd and hang out with us some more. In the meantime though, thanks for watching everybody. I'll catch you all in another video.